So here we go. Uh, these sea surface temperatures right now, I mean, these are, I mean, these are high octane fuel. This is the type of activity, these are the type of temps that we see out in the Gulf of Mexico, you know, in like a month or two, certainly not this time in July, 86.7, 85.5, 88 and a half. I mean, they range anywhere from 86 to 90 degrees and they're certainly warmer than normal for this time of year. I mean, well above normal, two to four degrees above normal. So when you think of this happening and all the moisture that we have have here in the Dallas Fort Worth area, the high humidity, the ridiculously high humidity we had a couple of weeks ago. And now once again, we're under an excessive heat warning and that's due to high uh, heat index values. It's all about that moisture down in the Gulf of Mexico. It's all about those warm. When you think of those warm water temps, okay? So look at this. When you think of this, this is like a, a pot of water on the stove that's boiling. And that air, that moisture is just rising up above that, that heated up a pot of water, right? That's what this huge body of water is doing right now with these above normal temperatures. So that moisture, that tropical moisture has to go somewhere. And remember a couple of weeks ago, we didn't have much of a breeze. If anything at all, we had fairly calm winds. We have a south breeze now. South, southeast at times, that flow is bringing all that moisture in from the Gulf of Mexico. And watch this. So yeah, I put a, a legend up here. You can see uh, the red is uncomfortable. That's where we are tomorrow. 74 degrees. These are the dew point temperatures. That's the true measure of moisture in the air. That's really, really high. It's ridiculous here along the Texas coast. Not that unusual, but it's really, really high. That's the unbearable category. Watch this. So there's Thursday. Kind of fluctuates throughout the day tomorrow, but it's really high tomorrow. Then into Friday, 72 degrees. We're still in that uncomfortable mode. We'll dry out a little bit in the afternoon. And then into Saturday, we're at 72 degrees for a dew point temperature. And that combination, the high uh, moisture content in the atmosphere, that's a lot of it's brought up uh, from the Gulf of Mexico, that really warm Gulf of Mexico. Mexico, and of course, the rainfall that we've had here across the Dallas Fort Worth area and across North Texas the last couple of months. The combination of that gives us this excessive heat warning that's up and down the I 35 corridor. That excessive heat warning, remember, it is in effect until 9 o'clock, 9 p.m. tomorrow. Heat index values of 110 plus. And I would suspect that this excessive heat warning will be extended into the day Friday and quite possibly into the day on Saturday. So here we go. The forecast tonight, of course, it's going to be a warm one, a muggy one. 81 is the low tonight. Tomorrow we hit 103. We hit 105 today. That's the hottest temperature that we have recorded so far this season. The last time we were that hot was last year. It was July 18, 19 and 20. July 18, 19, 20. Last year, three days in a row, we hit 109. So at least we didn't do 109 today. We did 105 tomorrow. Cooler. We'll go 103 as we head through tomorrow. There's the next 10. There's the cool down on Cynthia. What are you talking about? I don't remember us hitting 109. Well, you're probably on one of your high priced, fancy uh, rich people vacations. <laughs> For those of us that worked, we remember it. 99 on Sunday. There's the cool down, maybe a shower or a thunderstorm. Then every other day, it's a weak little front that moves in. It might bring a little rain to the area. Most of us are dry. It's just hot. 99. Then every other day, uh, triple digits. There's no record heat there. It's just a string of 100 degree plus days. So hot weather continues. That goes through July 22. We will stay. I would take that through the end of July and we're going to be, you know, right at 100 degrees, if not a tad warmer. So hot temps are here to stay.